Hey everybody, welcome to my show. It's great to have you guys here. And I just want to tell you that I'm very excited that you guys have joined me on the show. Today I want to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart. And it's about loving yourself. It's about actually loving yourself. You know, there are so many people out there that just don't love themselves. You know, we tend to, you know, we've all gone through it. So everybody can't say that they haven't gone through it. And, you know, before I go any further, I just want to interact, you know, it just came into my head, of course, what, while I'm talking. But if you listen to this video, I'm, I'm offering right now, I'm offering a 30-minute coaching session for free. The links are in the chat box, and I'm also going to put them in the comment box so you guys have it. And I'm also going to offer my book, Empower Yourself, Don't Let Your Conditions Empower You, for free. And if you go on, I'll have the link down below, and you guys can go just click on to the link, and you can, guys can get this book for free along with the 30 minute coaching session. But don't click onto it now because I wanna talk about this topic that I just interrupted myself, of course. So guys, listen, it's all about loving yourself. You know, we all, you know, I wanna teach you some habits today. I wanna to teach you some techniques to learn how to love yourself because we've all gone through it in life. And you know, we all have, life is like a roller coaster. Come on, think about it. You know, you have your ups, you have your downs, you know, even people like me who, you know, help others, you know, our lives are not perfect. I go through life and I go have my ups and I have my downs and you know there are times when I look in the mirror and I am just not happy with the person I see and I just I get discouraged I get anxiety I feel depressed I'm like you know what I'm not at where I want to be I don't like the person I see what's going on you know and what are the things I found that really helped me was I stopped comparing myself to other people because I found you know so many times especially now with TV and the media Media, you know, they try to make these personas that everything, life is wonderful, life is perfect. You know, things are starting to change where they're starting to be more realistic about life, and not everybody's liking it. But a lot of times we get, you know, especially, you know, on Instagram, when you see these pictures of people or you go onto the media, you look and you really think about, you know, life, you know, these people, they, they look like their life is great. And behind closed doors, it really isn't, you know, so, and then you, you really can't compare yourself. And then you might have people at work or friends, they post these great things on Instagram or at work, they're talking about how wonderful their lives are. You know, life isn't always that perfect you know and you have to realize that life has its ups and downs and you know we're gonna go through life and we can't compare ourselves because we don't you know someone might be doing something for like years and years and years and they might be ahead of us and then we're looking at them and like we just started out and we're like holy shit why are they you know doing so great and I'm like struggling here well you know the answer to that is because we, we, in life, we just, you know, we can't compare ourselves. We don't know what other people are doing or how long they've been doing it for. So don't compare yourself. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Let's see what you, Rob just said. I feel like when I go onto Facebook and Instagram, it makes me feel depressed. What should I do? How can you offer me some help? And what do you offer in coaching? Well, I do offer uh, coaching for people, you know, to kind, kind of help people, you know, become their ideal selves, to be happy with who they are as a person. And that's why I keep doing these videos over and over again. Like later on, just click onto the link. If you want to talk to me, I have a 30 minute coaching session where we could talk and we can, you know, learn about how to actually become your ideal self, how you could learn to love yourself. And I talk about that in my book too, because that's something everybody struggles with. And also, you know, don't worry about others and their opinions you know other people's opinions don't matter it's all about how you feel about yourself that's what matters you know and you know what we in life you know we you know we a lot of times everybody has thin skin you know and we you know and we begin to, but over time we could actually thicken that skin and, and make that skin strong and that's by increasing your self-esteem and hey you're how you doing hey male how's it going oh god I love you guys when you come on. You guys are great. 
and you know if you have some questions you know feel free to you know ask them I want to hear your questions man I want to hear what you have to say and you know like I was talking about you know a lot of times people get all antsy pantsy about other people's opinions well everyone has a right to you know to think what they want to think but you know what it doesn't matter because you know what they have the right to think what they think but it may not apply to you and you know what that's their opinion it's not yours your opinion matters well your opinion about yourself is what matters and nothing else and also I want you to allow yourself to make mistakes because a lot of times people you know they, they they try to be perfect but perfect is something that doesn't exist that word should not even be in the vocabulary I tell people all the time you are not perfect because perfect doesn't exist nobody on this planet is perfect we all make mistakes we all learn from our mistakes and if, if you're one of those people that don't learn from your mistakes well then you know what you're gonna end up hitting rock bottom and then one day you're gonna wake up but for people who make mistakes and they re realize it's a mistake you know what it's okay it's we all make mistakes learn from your mistakes and then also it strengthens us because when we when we make mistakes we we screw up we realize that we made a mistake we learn from the mistake and we use it to better ourselves as a person. And when we use it to better ourselves as a person, we actually become stronger and we strengthen our inner selves. And that's what matters. So you know what? Don't let yourself get down on yourself if you make a mistake. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And some of the biggest, biggest people on the top, all those executives, those million dollar executives, Alex Hamozzi, all of them, they talk about how they screwed up time and time and time and time again until they got it right so you know what even the best of the best screw up and that's how we learn and that's how we become successes in life because we learn from our mistakes and we make ourselves a better person the ideal person and also remember your value doesn't lie in how your body looks you know what you know nowadays you know we you know it, it's starting to change in the media but so many people kind of judge people from the outside it's not how we look on the outside that matters it's what's on the inside that matters we as people need to realize that we are people who actually you know it, it what's on the inside how we feel our heart you know how we think you know that's what matters you know it's it's it, are we a good person are we given to others you know how do we feel about ourselves you know it's it what what we need to value is our inner selves you know and we really need to love who we are as a person and we need to love be once we are able to love ourselves we're able to love others and it will show it will show when you look at people and you smile you can tell who loves themselves and who doesn't you ever walk in the mall and you ever see some people and they have that miserable look on their face well do you think they love themselves no they don't love themselves they have issues that they're dealing with and they're struggling and whatever those issues are you know they're having a tough, a, a tough time so you know what you can't judge people on the outside you don't know what you know what they're going through in life you don't know what what's happening in their life and you know you can't judge people from the outside and value yourself on what's the inside you know what if you're hard on yourself and you're like oh well you know I, I gained 10 pounds and you know look at myself in the mirror I'm not happy with myself you know it's not about how you look on the outside it's how you feel on the inside that matters and if you care enough about your body you're gonna do something to make your body better and if you you know and all you need to do is try we talked about this you don't have to make these extravagant goals for yourself just make little steps baby steps everything takes time just like learning to love yourself it all takes time it's not an easy uphill battle but you know with baby steps we can get up the hill and that's all that matters and don't be afraid to let go of toxic people you know so many times when, we, when we're trying to learn how to love ourselves we have those toxic people in our lives and those toxic people pull us down and it's very hard to learn how to love yourself and it's very hard to 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 be able to be a positive person and to be able to do things that are good for you when you have people right around you just get throwing out toxic energy just that negative that negative energy it pulls you right down with them have you ever been on the phone with somebody 
somebody or you've ever talked to somebody and everything they come out of their mouths is negative, negative, negative. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Blah, 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 blah. And by the time you get off the conversation with them, you feel drained. And that's why you need to get rid of those toxic people out of your life and find positive people, people that you're going to be able to actually have conversations with that have positive impact, positive energy. You get off the phone with them or you you, you finish talking to them. You're like, yeah, man, I could do it. I could do it. Yeah. You know, and that's what matters. You want to be able to be with people that are going to bring you up to a higher level in life. You don't want to be brought down. You want to go up. And that's how you learn how to love yourself is because when you learn, when you get that toxicity and those toxic people out of your life and you start bringing in positive energy, positive, it's like the law of attraction, man. You just bring in the positive energy and positive things will come to you. You call out to the universe and you, you ask for positive things, positive people come into your life. It's like an uphill battle. People just keep on loving what you got to say. They're loving you. you. They're saying good things to you. They're encouraging encouraging you, you're encouraging them, and the energy level inside you just, just starts, to, it's like a volcano, and it just starts blasting, and you keep, and you start achieving goals that you never even thought were possible. You have the ability to achieve anything you want in life. It's about believing in yourself, and in order to believe in yourself, you have to love yourself, and these are the steps to learn how to love yourself, and trust yourself to make good decisions for yourself. There are so many times we say, well, um, yeah, I think I could, I don't know, you know, you, you, you know, you go back and forth. Maybe I can. No, 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 not maybe you can. I can, you know, I, I try, not I try, I will, you know, you, you got to change the vocabulary. And sometimes we have, we just automatically say things because subconsciously, this is how we feel inside. But no, 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 we got to change our vocabulary and we have to change our thinking process. And when we change our thinking process, those positive of words are going to start coming out of our mouth and they're going to make an impact on other people because if you believe in yourself and you change the way you speak about yourself people are going to see that and they're going to believe in you so it's about i can i will i am and i'm doing it's all those positive things because we all have the ability to become and to do whatever we want in life it's believing in ourselves loving ourselves bringing positive people, bringing positive energy into our lives, and just having the faith and the courage to move forward in life and act upon it. And these are the things that we really need to focus on. And take every opportunity in your life that, that God gives you and, and, and create your own and create a, 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 a life of, of, that you want for yourself, your ideal life. Your life presents you with a lot of opportunities, but you have to have the courage to actually grab those opportunities and act upon them when they come your way. You know, it's it's all about, you know, you want something in life, you go after it. Opportunity comes, don't let it pass you by because you're scared or you're, if you're fearful. Because there's plenty of times when I've tried and I've gone into new, new things in my life. You know, I sometimes feel, you know, in life for me, I felt like, you know, I finished one area of my life. I knew it was time to move on and then I started on my next venture and it was scary because when you start a new venture you're starting from scratch when you're starting from scratch it takes time to build and to build and to build and then you know it, it, new opportunities come you get fearful you get scared oh my god I'm afraid I'm gonna fail you know what happens if I don't do really good well you know what you don't know until you try <coughs> The reason how we succeed is we face our fears and we do our best. And remember what I told you, you can't fail. Failure is, is not also in my vocabulary either. We, things may not turn exactly the way we want it to turn out, but hey, they will turn out, you know, and, and you know, and whatever happens, you take that and you give yourself a pat on the back. You accomplish something. You know, there are times when I was on, I, I had to be on TV and, or I had to talk in front of a large group of people. And right before I got on stage, I got those butterflies and I got scared. I think every time I, I've been on front, in front of the camera or I've been in front of a stage of people, I get the butterflies. I always get queasy right before I get on. And I remember even when I went on big TV shows, they just 
pushed me. The producer just pushed me on stage. And then everyone was looking at me and the cameras are on me. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, hi, you know, and then it just kicked in that and the confidence and your energy just kicks in and you, that fear is behind you. Those worries are behind you and you're focusing on the present and you're focusing on now and you're focusing on your goals. And that's, what's going to make you a better person. You're not worrying about, and you're not fearing you're doing, you, you will accomplish. You are the person. You are the man. You are that person who's going to make you a success. Whatever whatever your definition of the ideal person is, whatever your definition is of success, you can achieve those goals and get there. And then when you get there, if you want to make them higher, because by then your confidence level is probably going to be over here, you could do that if you want. You know, you're able to do that you know, and put yourself first. Oh my God, this is one thing I got to tell people. If you're going to learn to love yourself and you're going to learn to feel like a good person and you're going to learn how to really move forward in life and conquer the world, you have to put yourself first. So many times in life, especially with mothers and fathers and people, you know, that have families and, and we're always taught, you know, to, to take care of others and do for others and da, 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 da. But you know what? How can we help others if we can't help ourselves? first. We have to do what makes us happy. We have to take care of ourselves. Once we take care of ourselves, once we put ourselves first in life, and once we are able to, to fill ourselves with what we need, then we can help others. But first, the number one person we have to worry about is us. What do we need that's going to give us the ability to move forward in life? What do we need to make to love ourselves? What do we need to strengthen ourselves? What do we need to accomplish the goals that we've set in the back of our head? What do we need? It's not selfish to take care of yourself. It's not selfish to love yourself. It's not selfish to do things for yourself that are going to make you a better person. No, it's not. Because in order for you to help everyone around you and to help your, to help the people you love and then to help people that you might not even know, because I've done so much advocate work and I've helped so many people out there and, you know, I never asked for a dime. But I did it because I cared. Because you know what? If people didn't come out in the woodwork and help me, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I wanted to give back. But in order for me to give back, I had to learn how to take care of myself. I had to learn how to love myself. I had to learn how to build my self-esteem up. I had to learn how to set goals. I had to learn how to move forward in life. You know, these are things that I had to do for myself in order to get where I am today. And that's what you guys have to do. You know, it's all about about taking care of yourself, then taking care of the people around us, then setting goals and doing the things we want in life because we're worth it. We are fucking worth it. Yes, we are. Now, you know what? You also have to feel and the pain and joy as it, as it comes along. Things are not going to be easy. Listen, and any, any, any obstacle in life and anything we go through in life, even, even when we set goals for ourselves to, to accomplish things that we're going to, there's pain and there's joy there, you know, things sometimes go great. And then all of a sudden, boom, something hits us. And we're like, we feel like we got knocked back two steps. This is life. It just happens, you know, and, and, and you're not the only one. I guarantee you, everybody that's out there that's listening to me now, hey, Prod, and you know, and, hi, Dawn, how's it going? I love when my girl comes on. She's the best. And, you know, in life, you know, we have our ups and downs. We can move forward three steps and get knocked back two steps. It's life. It happens to everybody. Don't feel like you're alone. I guarantee you, if you said, oh my God, you know, I was doing X, Y, and Z. I was doing so good. And then this happened. I guarantee you somebody else will say the same thing. Yeah, man, that happened to me. Or something similar happened to me. I, I, I can feel you, man. I can feel what you're going through, you know. And sometimes that's good, you know. So I say talk to people. If you're going through a rough patch in life, don't keep it to yourself. Talk to people, share, find that one person that you know will listen to you, that you could trust, that's going to not give, that's going to give you an unbiased opinion and be there to support you because that matters. You need those people in your life and those people that are going to say, yeah, you know what? I understand what you're going through. I may not have experienced it or I may have experienced it, but you know what? I'm here for you. What can I do to help you? Those are the type of people, those are the type of support that you need that's going to make you a better person. And also, you know what? 
exercise boldness in public. You know what? It's all about how you present yourself. You know, don't be the person in the corner of the room that does, you know, doesn't talk to anybody. You know what? You don't have to be the center of attention, but you know what? If you see something that's going to benefit you, if you see something that's going to help you, or you know there's somebody you could talk to that's going to give you great advice, be bold. Approach them. What's the worst thing if, you, you know what, they, you know, people laugh at me and they say, oh my God, you always get what you want, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. It's not that I get what I want. If I see an opportunity, you know, I might approach that person and say, hi, my name is Stacy, blah, 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 blah. And I might introduce myself and then a conversation might struck, you know, and then opportunities arise. So be bold. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to, to see what your needs and your wants are and to go after them, you know, because if you are that person that sits in the back of the, of the, of the stage and, and you're the last person in the row, nobody's going to see you. And how are you going to achieve your goals? You know, if you love yourself, you'll have that courage. You'll be able to move forward and you'll get that boldness with that self-esteem. That self-esteem and that positivity in your life, man, oh man, you have a combination of those two and it takes you far. And like I said, you got your ups and your downs. But we, listen, nobody wants to be a pea in the pod. You know, some people do actually. But you know what? When you're not a pea in the pod and you can get your name out there and you can get yourself to the point you want in life, why not be that person? Why not? If you, you know, you look at these people, you're like, wow, I wish I could be them. You can be them. You just got to be able to, to set a nice strategy for yourself. And all these little things I'm telling you, all these qualities and characteristics, they are going to get you there, you know? And, you know, and also like see the beauty in the little things in life, man. You know, sometimes we are so busy in our lives that we forget gratitude. Gratitude is so important because you know what? Without gratitude and positivity, you know, you're not going to get very far in life. You know what? You have to be positive all the time. You have to take the worst things in your life and pull out the positive things that happen in that in that event and then use that as is as a strengthener and you know and be grat just be gracious and have gratitude for the little things in life a lot of times in life like i will i will see things and i'll be like you know what you know I didn't realize in life, you know, how how such little things in our lives can mean so much. And I'll tell you, like when I was young, really young, you know, certain things got taken away from me that, you know, nobody would think would be a big deal. And then when they got taken away, it blew me away, you know. And sometimes we have to have gratitude because we don't realize how lucky we are until certain things get taken away from us. So in life, man, be, just be, have gratitude for living. Have gratitude for the, when you look out the window or you go outside and you see those trees, the grass, the people in your lives, have gratitude. Make a list and, and one to 10, write down 10 things that you have gratitude for. You know, it might be someone that you love. It might be someone that gives you support. It might be someone that just makes you laugh every day at work. You know, have gratitude because, you know, the things in life that, you know, sometimes we think are the littlest things in life are sometimes mean the most. And, you know, and also share that gratitude. You know, don't be a taker, you know, you know, just be a giver, you know. Things will come to you when you give. You have to give as a person, you know. It's not all about trying to get, 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 get. It's about giving, 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 giving. You, if you give, you shall receive. You know, we've heard that quote many times, and it's so true. You know, it, it's just what, what you put out in the world, you'll get back. They call it karma. You know, you call it law of attraction. Call it whatever the hell you want. But in life, if you give out, you will receive, you know. You know, you, just a compliment. I sometimes I'm walking in the street and I see somebody, you know, I'll be in a food store, let's say. Someone looks really nice. They have a pretty blouse on. I'll say, oh, that's a pretty blouse. And you'll see their face light up and they'll smile and they'll be like, thanks. You just made that person's day. You know, how many times, you know, just by just showing a little kindness in life and just by being having gratitude in your life and being positive, those three things are key. They are so key. I can't even tell you how key they are. They, it means a lot. It means a lot. 
So, you know what, keep that in mind and, you know, and be, like I said, I just mentioned it, be kind to yourself. Don't put yourself down. Don't, don't, you know, stop, you know, sometimes I, there's somebody that I really, really love a lot and she knows who she is and, you know, she's done so much in her life. She has become a professional medical doctor. She has, she has raised two beautiful children. She's done so many things with her life. I, you know, I've known her since we were like 19 and she's, she has, she, and and she she works out she has the bod of, of a hot mama you know and she she took herself from from a and went all the way to z right up that hill you know what and sometimes she doesn't see how great she is well listen man be kind to yourself make a list if you have to of all the accomplishments you have made that you can think as far back as you can go and then give yourself a pat on the back. Be kind to yourself. Say, wow, you know what? I am a great person. I am good. I can accomplish myself really, really well. I, you know, I've done so much with myself. I am that person. I am a great person. You are number one. Remember that. Remember that. You are number one. And nobody can tell you anything else because it doesn't give a shit. You don't give a shit what other people think. It's what you think. And that's what matters. So with this, I'm going to close it. I got a podcast to do. If you want to hear my podcast, I'm the advisor with Stacey Chalemi. You can find me on Speaker. You can find me on Amazon. Everywhere you look, you can find me. I have my podcast everywhere. It's the advisor with Stacey Chalemi. I have great coaches, experts, people that come on, tell to share their stories. They're amazing. And also, I'm going to remind you one more time. One more time, I'm going to remind you. I give 30-minute coaching sessions for free. So all you have to do is go on that link in the chat box. And on Instagram, I'll put it on in the comment box and you can get a 30 minute coaching session for free. We could talk, we could discuss your issues. I could see if I could help you and maybe I'll help you in that 30 minutes. I might be able to change your life. Who the hell knows, but give it a try, man. Give it a try. And also don't forget, empower yourself. The book, empower yourself. I'm giving it away for free. You go on coachstacychalemi.com slash free book and you will get this book for free. I love you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about strengthening your inner self and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of other topics, man. I want you there. You better be there because I want you there and I want to help you because I love you guys. So thank you so much. Be, be well, be safe. Namaste.